Hello, I'm David Chow from the Finance News Network, and joining me from LWP Technologies is Chairman Siegfried Konig. Siegfried, thanks for joining us. Thank you. First up, can you give us an introduction to LWP Technologies? LWP Technologies is a small cap company listed on the Australian Stock Exchange under the ticker LWP, and our company is in a strong financial position with around 2,100 shareholders, and we have a fantastic propent for the oil and gas services industry that we've developed from scratch and proved out the technology in our pilot plant in Brisbane. Thanks, Siegfried. Now, can you tell us more about your company's projects? Uh, the ceramic propant we originally designed was to be a high strength, very high quality propant. However, the market in the current low oil and gas environment has declined considerably. Everybody today is looking for a very, very low cost, highly effective propant. Therefore, have we, we have redesigned our technology. Now we've uh, just last week announced a very low cost propant that can compete against the cheapest quality propants which is mined frac sand on price. Now to your ASX announcement about aluminium graphene oxygen battery technology. What attracted you to this company and the technology? The technology was introduced to me by a person that I've known for over 10 years and whose advice I trusted. When I heard about the technology naturally I was immediately skeptical because usually when we find something that looks too good to be true, it usually is. Therefore, we put a uh, due diligence expert on the case. We requested uh, second opinions from patent attorneys on the patents, and we had long in-depth conversations with the inventor. The more we found out, the more we investigated, the more we believe the technology really has legs. Uh, the potential of the technology is absolutely limitless and could change the way the world commutes. So therefore, for a very small investment of around about 1.6, perhaps up to $3 million over 12 months, LWP could easily be a billion dollar company if the technology works. Very good. So what were the terms of the transaction? The terms of the transaction are that the inventors and LWP are 50-50 joint ventures partners in a new company called Graphene Era because we believe the era of graphene is just beginning. And what will LWP bring to its joint venture? What LWP brings to the table is the ability and the proven history of being able to bring brand new technologies from the research and development stage right through to commercialization. The other thing we bring to the table is marketing, commercialization, and future corporate transactions, whether it be IPO, spin-outs or otherwise, are all directed by LWP according to the terms of the agreement. Now to financials, what is your cash position? We have a strong cash position at the moment. We have, uh, at the end of March quarter, close to $4 million in the bank, and the ATO owes us around $2.7 million in R&D tax offset claims. We enjoyed a two-year tax audit, finishing in January this year, and uh, we're given a clean bill of health by the ATO, so we're expecting uh, with those monies to have around about 6.4 million in cash, and that's around about four years working capital for LWP. And what are your expectations for the company over the next six to 12 months? With the new prop and technology that we've invented and announced last week, we believe that will culminate in our first license agreement somewhere between three and six months from now. In relation to the Graphenera technology, we believe that somewhere between six and 12 months, we'll have a, a working prototype that we can give to potential licensees to validate. Last question, Siegfried. Where would you like to see LWP Technologies this time next year? I'd like to see us around about a 20 or 25 cent share price and uh, enjoying the fruits of our hard labor. Siegfried Konig, thanks for the update. Thank you very much.